Hello Aries and welcome to your love, lust, or loss reading. This is for Aries. Let's see what is going on. What does Aries need to know? This is for Aries. Love, lust, or loss for Aries. Love, lust, or loss for Aries. Let's see. We have phases. Sometimes our love goes dark. Sometimes our love shines as bright as the fullest moon. So I believe um, Libra got this as well. And we're having a lot of, you know, we're in eclipse season and the people are acting a little bit bananas. So um, I feel this is someone you're on a bit of a roller coaster ride with. So let's see what's going on. This is for Eric. Love, lust, or loss for Aries. Love, lust, or loss for Aries. A few cards for you, a few cards for them, and then the outcome. If this resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment. I would greatly appreciate it does not resonate with you at all Aries please do check your moon your rising and your Venus sign as this will not resonate with every Aries out there cross watchers please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa interchangeable so however it resonates with you this is for Aries this is for Aries. What does Aries need to know? What does Aries need to know? Let's see. You still have hope here that things will move forward, but um, half the time you just want to walk away. Communication. Okay. All right. So there is a lot of watching going on. So I, I feel like this person is getting ready to, um, I, I feel like there's going to be some sort of explosion here. Um, and it's, it's going to, uh, there's some sort of jealousy that is triggered and that that jealousy is going to trigger a conversation, um, which is going to expose a, uh, a lot of hidden emotion. And it's going to be very truthful. And um, I feel like things will balance out between you and this person. But you're of two minds about this situation. Either I, you know, either do I hold out hope or do I walk away? And there you are in the middle. And I'm just going to pull this here. I'm kind of jumping ahead. But you see those sphinx there, and you're in the driver's seat. Should I go left? Should should I go right? Should I walk away? Should I still have hope here? Um, so that's where you are. This person over here. They like, it's like they create complete chaos. But like I said, there's going to be some sort of jealousy situation that triggers a conversation that triggers a very, like a lot of emotions coming out. And then you, then you will find your balance here. All right. But there is a lot of watching going on. I feel like you're watching them. They're watching you. Um, and someone sees something and it just, it, things just pop off, right? I feel like it's them. So four of wands here. Um, first thing I want to say, there's a lot of watching of each other's houses. Now that's for some of you, not all of you, because I know not, you know, some of you may not live close by to each other, but 
keeping an eye on things um, and how, yeah, like that could be just for some of you, not all of you. I feel like things are going to get back to a good space here, but there's going to be a lot of drama before that happens. Okay. So we got the four of wands here. Celebration, things calming down, things becoming rooted, commitment even for some of you, but things are going to get back to a better space once all this is spoken. Because right now they're going through it, you're going through it, everybody's stressed out about the entire situation. You're just about ready to be like, you know what, I'm out of here. They're over here. They're going nuts. They're going nuts. Everybody's going crazy. Like I said, <laughs> these eclipses and all this, mm, everybody's acting uh, just a little bit out of hand. So the waiting is the hardest part. What is going to happen here? Well, it's it's happening. Um, but you're, you're taking a more reserved approach, kind of keeping your hands to yourself and kind of, you know, looking at what's going on. They're doing the same. I feel like this conversation is going to come from them. But it's all going to be out in the open. And then, you know, decisions are going to be made. But I feel like you're going to get back to a good place after everything is on the table so this is the big conversation all right so we have the star card here aquarius energy we have the chariot here cancerian energy and then we have the five of swords so like i said hope faith do i you know keep the light on here um patience, balance, all these wonderful things, should I still be optimistic about the situation with this person or should I move my chariot in a completely different direction and and just say F it, you know? So it's it's a it's a very difficult spot to be in. It's a very head over heart and half the time you're like, okay, I'm just I'm walking away and then the, you know, late at night, you're like, mm, I still have hope here. It's you're, It's like a battle within your own self. They're over here. They're going to see something. Um, there's a lot going on with this person right now. And there's jealousy that's going to be triggered right and then there's drama that's going to ensue there's a conversation that's going to ensue because of this we have the eight of wands the five of wands and then the tower card it's all coming out it's getting ready to get a little explosive all right so um this drama this build up okay it's going to be sudden it's going to be truthful there are going to be things that you don't necessarily want to hear. There's going to be things that they don't necessarily want to hear. But we're getting this pomegranate curtain is falling. The high priestess protects her secrets. It's all coming out. And after all of this happens, there can be balance found in this situation. We got the two of cups here. So it, you know, speaking your truth all out on the table. It's all coming out. It's all coming out. All right, Aries. Um, this is going to be a little bit of a roller coaster ride. The roller coaster ride continues. Up to you if you want to uh, officially uh, get off of this, you know. Um, but we got we got one more round to go. It looks like to me. And things may work out for the best once the truth is spoken, you know. So up to you at the end of the day. I'm going to call it love. But it's going to take a whole lot of drama to get there. 
All right, Aries, that's what's going on. I hope that resonates with some of you, most of you, all of you. You can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Rumble, and I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. You guys have a beautiful day and a great week, and I will talk to you soon. Take care and God bless.